Okay, so this is Harinama uh, with Vyakranam, Akhyat Prakranam, and Vadigana. So Kshidha, Kshi, Kshay. So words like Kshaya, Kshina, Ityadi comes from this root. So to perish, be diminished. So Kshi Yukta Tip, Kya Krishna Matuke, Dhaturantasya Govindaha, Pratyagi, A.I. Kshayati. Kshi Yukta Anti, Shya Krishna Matuke, Dhaturantasya Govindaha, Pratyagi, and A.I. And then, Widling this Arama, by Arama Hara E. Ayora Vishnu Padanti, so, yes, so we deleted and we get Kshayanti. Kshayanti. Hmm. So, like that, Kshayati, Kshayata, Kshayanti, Kshayasi, Kshayata, Kshayata, Ityadi. Then, Vamanasya Trivikramaha Krit Krishna Dhatu Ketara Ya Pratya Ye. So, the final vamana of a dhatu changes to trivikrama when any pratyaya beginning with the except akrit or akrishna dhatu ka follows. So this sutra, sutra thematic is explaining. Today's fifth. So, sutra thematic explains that if we have a Vamana Akshara followed by any Pratyaya which begins with Ya, beginning with Ya Rama, excluding except for uh, Kridanta Pratyas or Krishna Dhatuka Pratyas. So Krishna Dhatuka Pratyas beginning with you are the Vidhi, vidhi Parapada, Yat Yatam Yus, Yas Yatam Yata Ityadi. So those are Krishna Dhatuka Pratyas beginning with you. So except for those and then Kridanta Pratyas, which will come in the fourth, fifth chapter. So the declension is 1 1. So the dhatu is kshi and this is atmapada te, kshi yukta te. So yak krishna dhatu ke bhava karmana, we insert yak. Now if you see here, we have a vamana akshara and the following is a pratyaya, which is not krishna dhatu ka or kridanta pratyaya. It's a ram dhatu ka. Yak is a ram dhatu ka. Beginning with ya rama. Right? So... So thus, this E Rama becomes Trivikrama. So we get Kshiyate. Okay, Kshiyate. So like that, Kshiyate, Kshiyate, Kshiyante, Kshiyase, Kshiyate, 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 Kshiyavahe, Kshiyamahe, Ityadi. Then Bhutesha, Kshri Yukta Dip, Dhato Puramat. So it's not a Krishna Dhatuka, but so therefore it does. Where is Where in this sutra does it say that it's not those? I'm just trying to understand the language of the sutra. Okay, so the sutra says Itara. The word Itara means other than. Other than Kridanta Pratyas or Krishna Dhatuka. So, Krit Krishna Dhatu Ketara. I, I see Vamanasya Trivikrama, Krit Krishna Dhatu Keriya Pratyaye. Where's Itara? Yeah, Krishna Dhatu Ketara. Advamidva E. Oh, I see Dhatu Ketara. Okay. Yeah, so Itara means like Anyat, you know, like other than that. Okay, sorry, I was, I was missing that part. Okay. So, so Bhutesha. Shri Yukta Dip, Dhatu Puramat Sir This is Anit. 
सो सो यू अप्लाई ईशांत से वृष्णिंद्र सौ पर पदे सूत्र थ्री एटी दैट एनी धातु एनी विथ ईशा एंड सी फॉलोइंग अड विथ पर पद सो दैन द ईशा टेक्स वृष्णिंद्र ईशांत से वृष्णिंद्र सौ पर पदे सो इट टेक्स वृष्णिंद्र ई एंड यस दैन ईश्वर हरिमित्र कराम नृत्य सो इत्यादि अस्त से एंड अक्षय शीत अक्षयशीत अक्षयुक्त नल सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डू वृष्णेन्द्र अंत वृष्णेन्द्र उन्द्र सिंह then i i and then we do sthanivat dvirvachanam so that is kshri yukta sham yukta a and then nara vishnu janana vad shishyate nara vishnu janana vad shishyate so out of these two consonants the first one will remain so we remove sh then ka varga narasya cha varga thus we get chikshaya chikshaya and then um chikshaya and in atus kshi yukt atus same process uh, atus is um uh, कपिल सो नो गोविंद डन दस वी डू दैट सूत्र धातु चतुसन से वो सर्वेश्वरी सो दैट ई राम बिकम्स ई एंड देन स्थानीय दुर्वचनम नर विष्णु जनाना आदि शिष्य थे खबर गण रस च वर्ग एंड चिक्षीयत चिक्षीयत सिमिलरली चिक्षी इत्यादि थल सो वेन थल इज देयर वेन ऑप्शनली वी विल इंसर्ट इट बाय बाय सूत्र सर्वेश्वरांत सहज अन इट इडवा थली सो क्षी इज एंडिंग विथ सर्वेश्वर इट इज सहज अन इट धातु एंड थल इज फॉलोइंग सो ऑप्शनली वी विल इंसर्ट इट सो सर्वेश्वरांत सहज अन इट इडवा थली so yeah so we do govinda and ai sthanivat dvachanam kshi then same process nara vishnu janana vadi shishyate kavar ganar sacha varga and we get chikshayita chikshayita and when it is not applied then chikshayita because govinda will be done anyhow thal is not kapila so kshi govinda is done then dvachanam कवर गणर सचर्ग नर विष्णु जनावादी एंड देन कवर गणर सचर्ग एंड देन नर से वामन सो द वामन फॉर ए राम इज ई ए स्थान ई राम ओ स्थान ओ राम वामन सैत सो वी गेट चिक्षेत द सेम थिंग chikshaya chikshiyatu chikshiyu ityadi and when it will be kampala kshi yukt yat kshi yukt yat yat yastam yasus kampala so here also we will do trivikrama by this 390 sutra because kam yat is a kampala pratyay which is not a krishna dhatuka which is a ram dhatuka so thus vamanasya trivikrama krishna dhatu ketra ya pratyay sutra 390 and we get kshiyat kshiyat okay so that was uh, kshi dhatu okay was it clear
this thing that is said in the uh, vritti, when a krit pratyaya follows, we get kshayam. I guess that's, we don't, I don't, what is kshayam? Or is that something we'll understand after we see the krit pratyayas? Uh, where is that? So, but when a krit pratyaya follows, we get kshayam. So, this is ya pratyaya, which is in Kridanta chapter, and the dhatu is kshi. So, so when we have Yukta, the year pratyaya from Kridanta, so we can't make it Trivikrama because that's prohibited in 390. So any right. kind of, any Kridanta pratyaya beginning with year, so we don't make it Trivikrama. So thus we don't make it Trivikrama, but we make it Govinda. So that's why we get uh, Kshaya. Okay, thank you. Mm. The next dhatu is lagi sangi. Like we say, we say lagna. Lagna is like muhurta, right? Lagna. Uh, it's the ascendant in the horoscope. Yeah. So. Yeah, Lagna is like more the, like an auspicious time to commence something. So, like today is a good Lagna, <laughs> Basant Panchmi. Happy Basant Panchmi. <laughs> yellow, yellow, everywhere. Yeah, an auspicious moment or time fixed upon as lucky for beginning to perform anything. Yeah, so lagna. There are, I've heard there are like many lagnas, auspicious moments. So there are like vidyarambha lagna, a particular time auspicious to begin a study program, like vidyarambha lagna. So I heard many lagnas like that. So yeah, some, some people, they are like very rigid about these lagnas. So, Lage Sange. <clears throat> so, Ha Ma Yant Kshana Shrasa Shri Nami Ramitashya Navrishnindraha Siti Sau Paravadi. That the Dhatus, Kshanu. So, Kshanu Dhatu, Shrasa Dhatu, to Oshri. Dhatus that end in ha, ma, or ya, and dhatus that have the indicator letter a, like in lage, we have the indicator letter a. So, what happens then for these dhatus? All of these dhatus do not take Vrishnendra when C with it follows, provided there is a Paravada Pratyaya after C. So, basically, the sutra is saying Sutra 391, yes. That if we have all these dhatus, so they are Shana, Shasa, Shri, dhatus ending with Ha, Ma, or Ya, or dhatus which have the indicator letter A, and then it Purvak, C, and Parapada Pratyaya following. So in that case, no Vrishnindra is done. For the dhatus. So it's, it's a nishedha sutra, uh, prohibition, prohibitive sutra. So, so we have the dhatu lage sange and so bhutesha lag yukta dip dhatu purvamat sir bhutesha itram dhatu ke it is said dhatu. So ideally we could have done Vrishnindra here by Sutra, Vishnu Janade, Laghura Ramasya, Vrishnindra, Idado, so Parapade, by that one. And it could have been a Lagit, but this Sutra prohibits it, the Vrishnindra Karya. So we don't do Vrishnindra. Thus, Astasim Hamid Dipsipo, Itahasil of Aiti, the Shavutari Kathmati, and we get a Lagit. A Lagit. Just that much, like uh, one new concept. A Lagit. 
Okay. Then Gopu Rakshane, the next one. So the other forms for Lagdhatu would be Lagati, Lagada, Laganti, uh, Lagyate, Lagyate, Lagyanti, Ityadi, Lalag, Adhaksha, Lalagatu. Actually, Lalag, uh, it would be Legatu actually. Legatu, Legu, by Adesha Hina Sutra. Adesha Hina Narad Yakshara. So, yeah, I like that. Then Gupu Rakshane to protect, hide. So words like Gupta, Gopana, Ityadi. They are made from this Gupu Rakshane Dhatu. So okay, this is interesting. Uh, Gupu Dhupa Vichhi Pani Pani Aya. Have you done some Anvayas Mataji? Uh, I think I had done them before the last class that we didn't have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Also, uh, I had done the um, the homeworks that I was uh, hoping to go over at some point. Okay, so you can the, the two verses. Uh, okay. Okay. So then, uh, let's have those verses first. <laughs> so, uh, so I can open the verses on my screen, and you can. Yeah, that will be good because I, I did it on a piece of paper. Uh, then you can explain. Uh, so, 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 so my first verse was 11, 18, 27. Uh, just a minute. 11, 18, 27. 11, 18, 27. So we also did this with other batch, uh, other devotees, and it was nice. So yes, 11, 18th, and 27th, please. Okay, so um, so I have all these. I have this diagram all, all scattered everywhere. But uh, so first, the um, the karta seems to be svastha uh, because it's in one point one. The person who is situated in the self. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we might take it that this verse is recommending that the person be svastha, and um, and that the karta was several verses uh, before this. This whole section is describing this this sage, mm -hmm. and then um, there's two clauses here. And so uh, the the verb that we know how to do is smarit. That's at the very end. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, that's the kriya, and it's in viti parapada 1.1. Right. Uh, 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 and it's should remember, but it's na, so it's should not remember. Mm -hmm. And uh, then th there's two clauses, and they're introduced by the avyayas, the relative and correlative yad and tad. So what one clause is the everything from yad to uh, tyaktva, and right. the other one, um, the other one is na tat So right. na tat right. is is simple that this this uh, self situated person should not remember that. Mm -hmm. So uh, so yad and tat are avyayas. That uh, that. I was a little bit confused for a bit because I was thinking that I was remembering that Yad was a Krishna Nama, but here it's not a Krishna Nama. It's it's a, uh, I mean the Krishna Nama it, it never appears as Yad. It's 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 not declined. This is just the Avyaya Yad. Um, right? You you uh, actually uh, in Newton Napunsaklinga Napun we get the forms Yad and Tad one one two one 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 and two one both. So you think that that it's it's not the avyaya, but but that um, it's the... it's the Krishna Nama because um, because even the obvious uh, yad and tad they have their base on the Krishna Namas like yad and tad. So we consider it Krishna Nama, like from the root. Right. So, is this in a form? This yad is it? Is it in a? Is it a? Is it declined? Uh, to me, it looked like it wasn't declined. Here. Okay. One minute. Yad eta dhatmani jagat. Yad eta jagat. So yad. So so I'm seeing that eta. I'm I'm taking as a Krishna nama uh, in two point one. That's uh, modifying jagat. Uh, 
which is also in 2.1. Mm -hmm. So the karya of this first clause is sarvan jagan. It's um, actually so. Yes, yeah, this is in 2.1. Yeah, yeah. Sarvam is a Krishna Rama. Uh -huh. So yet and third, they are 2.1. Both of them. Because they're both in 2.1. Yeah, because if you see tat nasmarit, so tat becomes an object here, right? You should not remember okay. that. But then wouldn't it be tang rather than um, tat? How? How come? If it was 2.1, I mean, I even looked uh, in the in the table itself. No, you look for the neuter uh, tables for tat. So oh, so it's 2.2 you're saying? 2.1. Tat te tani, tat te tani. So it's tat. Ah. Okay, so it's uh, it's an object. Tat na smarit. You know, tat okay, so okay, so yeah, that was that was actually my question. I went back and forth forth uh, two times about this. So it is actually a Krishna Nam. Yeah. Um, tat, and it is in two point one. Yeah, both of them. Yeah, and tat. So this is an. Um, it is a Krishna Nama. Yeah, I had I had written Krishna Nama first, and then I thought it was an Abhya. So it is a Krishna Nama. Mm -hmm. So this is an. Uh, so these are referring, and Etad is definitely a Krishna Nama. So it's referring to this Jagan. And yeah. then there's, um, I guess it's. So this Manovak Prana Sanhatam, it is a Samasa, which I don't know what it's called because we haven't done that yet. Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. so there's a. a Past passive participle sanghatam, right. uh, which also I don't know what that's called, and so then this uh, so this is also part of the the karyi. So it's the, all of this universe which is formed of um, mind, uh, speech, and and mm -hmm. prana, um, and then. Um, and then there's also another verb, tyaktva, which in the word for word here, it says giving up, but I think it's having given up. Yeah, and I also don't know, and I also don't know what that's called in, in Harinam, I'm, I'm at the background. But so I, that's, I that is uh, like uh, the, the kridanta pratyaktva. Um, okay. In Sanskrit, you say asamapika kriya, infinite verb. Infinite. Asamapika kriya. Asam asam ap, could asam, you? asam apika kriya. Asam apika. asam apika. Okay. Asam apika kriya. Okay. Okay. So then I, I had another question. So then, um, Tarkena is by this argument. So that's in 3.1. And so I wasn't sure with Mayeti if it's Mayeti means all of this is Maya. The iti goes with maya, or whether it's iti tarkena that by this argument. So yeah. I don't know which which word does it go with. So it's like uh, by this argument, which is sarvam maya. So it sarvam is sarvam maya. Yeah. So iti okay. iti is like sarvam maya iti. Uh, so by the, by the argument, which is that everything is maya, like that. Okay. So the iti goes with the tarkena, not with the maya. Uh, So by this argument, having given up, then one should not, uh, you know, once having given that up, one should not then think of it again, remember it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the second verse? Uh, the second one was 36 in the same chapter. Okay. The second one was simpler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, so there's there's just uh, one verb here, charet, okay. uh, which is uh, again in the vidhi parapada 1.1. That's the kriya, and uh, because this whole chapter is about vidhi, so it's natural that vidhi is coming up again. Um, and uh, in this case, the uh, the karta is the the jnani, I think. And then the, there's karyis, so there's um, shocham, achamanam, snanam, these are all in 2.1, these are all uh, karyis. And um, anyangscha niyaman is, um, anyangs, anyan niyaman is also uh, karyi, that's in 2.3. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, you know, this cleanliness, you know, achaman and bathing, 
Uh, so these are all activities, but but here it is um, that one should charet, one should do these activities. Not um, chodanayat. So uh, that's three. That chodana is three point one, not by force. Okay. Um, and then yatha is uh, is an avyaya uh, that is. So it's it was being translated as just as. Mm -hmm. And then aham is the Krishna Nama uh, and it's uh, of Asmad, which is uh, in 1.1. 1 .1. Right. Um, so it's just as I, uh, mm. the, so it's Lord, uh, you know, the Lord who is speaking, Ishwara. So Ishwara is is a karta in this second clause. And the, there's no verb. It's just implied that it's just the same way that I do these things. So so the person, the jnani should do these things. Mm. And, li and but when I do it, it's lilia. It's uh, by uh, you know by my pastimes. Mm. Yeah. So, so that that one is simple. I'm sorry. I mean, lila is like sportfully, not by force or. Like yeah. Mm. Yeah, playfully. So so this one I didn't. It seemed straightforward. I didn't have a, any question about it. Yeah. So. Hmm. And so Mataji, uh, Mahaprabhu Mataji, you can explain whenever we are ready with maybe this week or next week. No issue. <laughs> yes, Prabhu, thank you. Sure. Uh, okay. So then, okay, you can pick two more verses for maybe next week or maybe tomorrow. So, so just say out your canto, chapter, text. Uh, who, me? Yeah. Oh goodness. Um, well, let me try uh, 325, chapter 3, uh, verse, uh, I mean, chapter 25 of Canto 3. Okay. And um, how about 21 and 25? Okay. So 21 and 25. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can let, let us know whenever you're ready in the class and you can present. Okay. Uh, So, Shun Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 6, text, I believe. We did these three verses, I remember. Okay, 15th. Yeah, so it's 15th. Uh, so, Shrimad Bhagavatam, text, uh, Canto 1, Chapter 6, and text 15. 15th. Uh, tasmin, nil, tasmin nil manuje ranye pippa lopast ashrita. So, it's about Narad Muni when after his mother left her body. So, he, in which direction did he go? It was northern direction, right? Uttar. He moved in the northern direction and then he's describing about the landscape and so on. So Tasmin Nirmanuja Radne Pippa Lopastha Ashritaha Atma Atmanatma Namatmastham Yatha Shruta Machintayam. Which means uh, I think something is wrong here in the Anvaya. Uh, oh did I Oh is, yeah. What happened here? Uh, yeah, it looks like that's maybe the unveil of something. So, okay, what you did is uh, this unveil is for text 14. And text 15, uh, text 15 unveil is in the next one. Okay, do you want to just cut uh, cut and paste it? Then? Yeah. Then, yeah. then I don't know if what happened to 16 then. Sorry. 16th, I, I think it's moving moved ahead. Bhavan Rajita Chetasa. So, Okay. Yeah, so it moved like by verse one. Okay, so uh, do you want to 
Yeah, you can just uh, or even I can do that. Yeah. So that's here. And then so yeah, Nirmanu J. Nirmanuje Nirjane Tasmin Arane Kanane Pipalo Paste Ashwatha Brakshamule Ashwatha Hopushtasan Atmana Buddhya Atmastham Suhridaya Stitam Atmanam Antaryami Rubena Avastitam Parameshwaram Yetha Shrutam Purvok the Upadesham Sarana and Achintayam Chintadwan. Then what happened? In that lonely forest, Nirjane Arani Kanani, and there was one banyan tree, Ashwatha Vriksha. So he sat, Ashwita, he sat below that Ashwatha tree, a banyan tree. And what did he do? He meditated, Chintitvan, uh, upon the Supreme Lord who is situated within one's heart in the form of Antaryami Parameshwara Paramatma. So he meditated upon such Paramatma, the Lord, uh, as per the instructions he received previously from the sages uh, and so. And uh, yeah, so Swahirde Sitam, the, the Paramatma who is situated within the heart, so, so he meditated upon the Lord through buddhi, atmana. So through buddhi, or yeah, itiyartha. Text 16th Dhyayatash Charanam Bhojam Bhav Nirjit Chetasa Aut Kantya Shukalakshasya Hyadhyasi Me Shanai Hari Bhav Nirjit Chetasa Prabhala Bhakti Bhavena Vashi Kritena Manasa Charanam Bhojam Vishnu Hupad Padmam Dhyayataha Vichintayanaha Autkantya Shrukalakshasya Darshana Lalasaya Vigalita Nayana Salilasya Me Hridi Chitte Harihi Ishta Deva Vishnu Shanehi Kramasha Asit Avir Babhuva Dhyana Rupam Bhagavata Rupam Hridi Drishtamanityadha. So now time for self realization or God realization. So when he was thus meditating upon the Lord, Within situated within his heart, then on the strength of Pravala Bhakti Bhavena with a strong devotional like power or you know emotion, uh, a strong devotional emotion. Uh, so so he was meditating upon he was meditating Dhyayataha upon the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu. Uh, from by his buddhi or mana mind, which was overcome or overwhelmed by a strong feeling of devotion, and thus meditating, uh, his eyes were how do you say that? You know, like tears rolling down his eyes, or his eyes became teary. Vigalita Nayana Salilasya and he, he was very eager to see the Lord. He was very eager to have darshans of Lord. Darshan and Lalasaya. And because of such Lalasa eagerness, uh, Lord Sri Hari, who is his uh, Ishtadev, he gradually, Kramashaha, appeared, Asit Avir Babhuva, in his heart, Chitte. So, according to his meditation, dhyana, the Lord, 
he was able to see the Lord within his heart. Bhagavataha Rupam Hridi Drishtvan Ityata. So, so this dhyayata, so that's um, that's that he what what that's a verb. Well, no, that's a noun. Yes. What what case is that? How is this verb formed or a noun formed? Uh, so dhyayata is six point one, and it's actually a kridanta form. So the word is dhyayan, uh, actually. Uh, Shatri, Dhyayatri, so Dhyayan, so it is 6.1, it will come in um, Kriyanta, we'll do that, Dhyayata. Okay, so that's why I don't uh, recognize it. Yeah. This Prabal uh, is just very strong? Or yes, yes, strong, a very strong emotion, devotional emotion, sentiment. Okay. Anything else? Very means Narad Muni's Katha is very, of course, purifying. And also very Hrithkarana Rasayana Gata. Okay, so we'll resume tomorrow. I then. think that's one of my two verses. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, really? I think so. I, I, I was trying to remember the numbers, but yes. <laughs> okay. So, but it's a good exercise doing verses like that. <clears throat> and I was uh, really glad to hear the explanation. So, yeah. So, we'll resume uh, tomorrow with the sutras and the unveils. So, yeah, please keep practicing. Hare Krishna and happy Vasant Panchami. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Adhanabad Pram. Is there something people say on Vasant Panchami in India? I don't know. I have not been there on this day. Uh, people say about Vasant Panchmi. Do they say anything? Like some... Uh, like I, I just said happy. Means it's happy. like Saraswati Puja. So yeah. that's one thing. Another thing is there are so many disappearances and appearances day to day. Yeah. Uh, regarding Vasant Panchmi, like Vasant is a Ritu, so it has to do with the Ritu. And in Vrindavan, the holy begins from today. Mm. So the colors and all... So, oh, so you have to be very careful if you go out. Yeah, so I was like out today and I saw everyone is like yellow and pink and red. And then my mother told me, oh, the holy is starting today. Uh, so, yeah. So you have to dress in your clothes that you don't mind if they become... <laughs> it's not that much now. It's like only in like Bakabari temple and in Radhar Bullav temple inside. Oh, okay. But as we move ahead, then it will keep coming outside also and on the streets and everything. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.